Welcome back, Prime Mage. We're back with seven days to die. Alpha 20, the intellect build. If you missed the last episode, well, we've done a horde night in this base right here. I'll link in the top right hand corner. So, yes, we have blade traps, electric fence posts, molotovs galore, shotguns, you name it, we did it, and it was bloody amazing. So, do go check it out if you missed it, and I hope you enjoyed. But today, Prime Mage, we've got a couple of things that we need to do. First and foremost, I want to get this build finished as much as possible we need a second layer on top we need the roof on top of that we've got to put a little roof on the garage here get loads of windows in sort out the uh the garage and get this kitted out as well we've got loads and loads and loads to do here's what it's looking like so far but we've got a ton of work to get done today and i want to get this as finished as physically possible as much as we can and hopefully fingers crossed by the end of the episode we can get moved in but also today what we need to do is get all that moved in here at some point but today what i want to do is go and check out the traders they've restocked on horde day we've checked out this trader we haven't checked out this one or the other guy down here wrecked or the one where we first started just in a visily direction. So they might have something amazing and fantastic. We'll check those out today. I'd like to say we're going to get a mission in, but I don't think we will. So without further ado, let me quickly show you something. So upon feedback, you guys said to use these ones right here, but actually use some blocks to try and make it look like a real window. So I kind of like this one here, as I said, but there's like bullet holes in it and it's not too good it's a bit dirty you guys said to make this kind of pattern here but to do it on the front or the back of this window so we might do that uh, and a couple guys said about bulletproof glass no one really said about these two here i think someone said mix this one here with that one there but i, I feel like that's gonna, not really gonna work so we're gonna scrap this scrap this scrap this we're gonna try today to make this look like a nice window using blocks in the shapes menu in a this direction if that doesn't work, we'll just bulletproof glass the whole thing and go from there. Yeah, okay. But without further ado, I have got 500 odd blocks. What I want to do before we get moving is check the hotbox down here super quick. Ah, yes. I need to finish a tunnel tonight as well. So during the nightly hours, I will be shaving that back and finishing off the tunnel down there. So let's see. Did I have anything on burn? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Oh, is there stuff in there? <gasps> There's stone in here. Right. Uh, let's put some burn time in there. Can you give me some cement? Uh, 14 minutes. Uh, that'll do craft. Nice. And any in here? No. So I must have missed that one then. Okay, fair enough. So a bit of stone in there. We've got nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay, cool. So we've got free inventory down there to do all of the craftings and all of the stuff. I haven't got the resources yet because I haven't been out materials gathering. But that's okay. I can do that in the nightly hours or maybe even tomorrow. Quick inventory check before we go. Here's all the drinks I made last night. Here's all the bullets I've been making in there. In the forge, I have a couple of bits because we need to make a lot of oil today as well. All of the cement and the sand that I need for the bulletproof glass should we use it. Right, I need the doors today. I probably will need some lights, but not just yet. Anything else I might need? Paint will happen a bit later. I feel like, I feel like we might be okay. I've run out of room in my box. <laughs> I've got too many bullets. This is acting as like an overflow. So as it stands at the moment, here's our 7.62. Here's our shotguns and a bit of 9 mil. Here's uh, more 7.62. All of the 9 mils and all of the shotguns. They are going to be used in turrets, which we're going to craft today, actually. And I think what we need to do today is to get some electrical fence past so we can go and get some sensors. So I'll do that a bit later. I want to get this build done today. I really, really do. So let's head in. So what we need to work on, is, again, as I say is the um, windows, the roof. Did I not make a garage door? I don't, I swear I made a garage door. Ah, I did make a garage door, okay. So this is the powered version and I'm hoping to be able to hook you up. Can you do it manually or does it need to be powered? Oh, it must be powered. Oh, I thought you could also manually. That's okay, because I have got um, some sensors that you may have seen in the boxes. So I can set those up today as well, which is fine. The glass I need to set up. So downstairs is basically half done. We need to sort out upstairs. So let's put this here, this here, and uh, these in here. Now, all I need to do on the sides is essentially... Uh, what's this little lip? Is this just the front portion? It is, yes. So I've got to fill this last bit. And I think we run out of blocks, and that's why we stopped before. Uh, can we uh, just do the last two over here? Mm, come to think of it, I might actually I might actually just leave a little gap here. So what I'm trying to do now, just so you know, is I'm trying to think of a way. Obviously, we've got the door. I want to have something up here. Maybe like a big plane of glass above it. Maybe. If I can put uh, a little bit of wood just uh, here. No. So one, two, three. So if I can plonk you up here. Right, that's where I need a window. Bang, plank of wood. So if we go one, two, three, and do the same in here. One, two, three, and close that off. Now I can pick this bad boy up. Now here is where we're going to have a nice big area. Did I put you on that one? No, I didn't. So I'm going to put this on here. 
and this one on here as well. And I'll find a way to make this look pretty, not just yet, but I will eventually. One, two, one, two. Yes, that's come out not too bad at all. Right, here's where things are going to get a little bit tricky. So I have now got to try and turn this into a ceiling and have it not collapse. I feel like I might have to put some of this into um, concrete just for the structural integrity. So what, do we, what have we got for like ramps? What have we got in the way of like roofings and... Because what I'm kind of looking for is kind of like a ramp which is like chopped at the edge. You're kind of a ramp that's chopped at the edge. Are you what I'm looking for? I feel like you might be. Yes, you kind of are because I want a little lip hanging off the edge. Yes, yeah, you're kind of what I want to go for. Yes, let's stick these down. So I'm going to keep this roof a little bit flat. Not too high, not too wide. Oh, sorry, not too high or perky. Just, just nice and flat. Oh, crap. I wasn't supposed to put that there. Uh, no, I've done it again. Bang, a lacquer. So now I've got to find a way to actually make this structurally sound, which is going to be quite a challenging thing to do. Uh, are we bringing you across, though? We're turning you back into these. Ah, uh, no, oh, crap. Oh. And bang, I'm going to bring this up because this will be part of the house. Yes, yeah, spot on. The only problem here is oh, you're not actually attached, are you? Interesting, but you are. So if, as long as I can have something attached to here, this was what's going to provide the structural integrity for the roof, I believe. Yeah, so this should be good so we can bring this across like so. Just trying to do little bits and pieces at a time just so I make sure I can get it really, really stable and make sure the whole thing doesn't come breaking and collapsing down. Because that's the last thing you want is the whole thing just going kaput. Nice. Okay, so now I've got to try and figure out how to make this into a ceiling. Uh, actually, we can get the front bit done as well, can't we? So I'm thinking what we're going to do is go for a half block like so to give the illusion of a bit more space. Now, the only thing we've got to be careful of now is structure integrity but what i'm thinking and, and hear me out here each of these blocks these stone blocks have a quick check they can take support of 120 and a massive 10 so they can take 12 12 blocks hanging off of them so if we think about it, 12 blocks across will take us most of the way 12 blocks across most of the way same with this way same with this way i feel like we might need a pillar in the middle which will kind of avoid the whole idea of having a garage in the first place but i'm sure we'll find a way of getting around that i might have to use a couple of uh a couple of like plates on the side to add a bit more protection, maybe possibly. But we'll see. Let's get this on super quick. snag already maybe we can turn this around and maybe have like that there because then what that will do i maybe i'll switch the blocks up up top is that will actually give us oh i don't know it's a bit ugly isn't it that will actually give us a bit more support for the ceiling let's copy this rotation uh sorry copy this block and then copy this rotation just fyi there will be quite a few little um yeah i might have to change these end, edge ones up just up here i might have to switch those up for four blocks maybe in just a second but there'll be quite a lot of um little what's the word i'm looking for <laughs> i haven't recorded in a week promotion bear with me um maybe a few little um montages with music today because your building isn't the easiest thing to do whilst talking let's quickly head up top and see how much space we've got okay may have been easy to just come up here so this should hold i feel like this will we're going to count it in just a second i'm pretty certain it will so one two three four five six seven Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 bang so that is 12 bang yeah that's i feel like it's gonna be like maybe an orange on a structural support but it's okay and it's working if i break this off this may be a bad idea but i feel like these ones here yeah we don't need these to be this whole wall could be blocked up actually couldn't it so i'm trying to feel like yeah we could just block this whole thing up come to think of it hmm yeah let's just block this up No one's ever going to know it was there. <laughs> uh, do we need a window up here? I feel like we don't. It's going to be like a little reclusive area where we come and chill, where there's no natural light. We want to come and zen out. That'll be fine right there. Uh, do I need this here? I probably don't. Right, a nice little window in the corner won't go amiss. Like I so. That's all well and good. 
Right, I'm actually going to block this whole back wall up because I need space on the walls to put like bookshelves and pictures and things. So although I keep putting windows around a place, I actually need places to be able to store things as well. So I feel like this back wall will be completely blocked. And I'm thinking up here, we're going to have like a gun rack sort of thing. So I have like all things on the wall. We can put our guns, we can pick what we want and get it all ready for Horde and then run off and go to our adventures. And I feel that's going to be a great idea. Again, my worry is the roof. How am I going to do the roof? Okay, so we have some progress done around the base. We've got a nice wall here. I'm going to fill this middle bit in, I did decide. We've got a nice wall here to put racking in that. We can see out the back, should we need to look over? There will be a farm and a, a, a large build. I'm not going to say what over this way, but a proper farmy farm is going to be over there. Out the back, so we can see a few things. Over to the hall base, we come upstairs. Loads of room to see. I'm have to put one little support in there, we'll see. All in all, lots of room, lots of light, all of the stuffs. This will be blocked off. We uh, we can block this off, right? Yeah, because we're not began on the roof at all, are we? Let's get this blocked off as well. Okay, nice little corridor. I'm not sure what's going to go there, but I'm sure I can think of something. What I need to do now is mark out the support. So there's a support right there, isn't there? So what I should probably do is come to the floor. Yeah, there's one there. So I'm going to do it like this. So I know where to put them. One there, one there, one there. And there's none here, but there's also some in the corners. So I can put some supports in the corners. And then from this corner, it's one, two, three, and then bang on the floor. So from the corner, one, two, three, bang on the floor. Okay, cool, nice. So now let's get some more supports up. Do I want to do just standard supports for now? I feel like I probably will. So let's do this. Can I copy rotation or copy thing from here? No, I can't. So let's just grab you like this and do that. Come on, copies. Come on, copy. Copy shape, right. So one here. And then two, and I feel like three is the roof. I feel like we should bring it one higher. I oh, know the roof's going to be slanted anyway, so that's fine. Bang, 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 bang. All right, turns out I was wrong. It was three higher and then the roof. So that's okay. I do need to bring these all the way to the top. And again, these, these, these are going to get switched out. So I may need to, for example, I might want to build a wall, for example, across here. So I'll put the whole wall down. I'll attach it to the ceiling. Then I'll bring this down and change this for whatever block we need to do. But for now, it's just... I want to get the roof up. I want to get the whole roof up and get the roof on and just get moved in. So as long as we can do that, I am a happy, happy primate. Right, now I've got to count out the edges ones underneath here. Okay, I misplaced the block. Just double checking that's correct. One across. It is. So we've got the majority of the internal poles up now. I do want to try and make this of more of a... How do I even show you this? Of So say it's coming from the right. It goes up slightly and then comes across. If I could do a big kind of triangle... But I don't think we're going to have the structural integrity to be able to do that. Oh, it's like a lot. And it'd be a bit of a work in progress. I feel like we should fill the floor in now. Do I need more supports though? That's the only question. One, two, three. I feel like we probably should put one more. One, two, three. Should we stick another one here? Again, these are going to be walls and you, you won't see all this open plan stuff. It's just trying to get it. I oh, crap, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Yeah, it's trying to get it right and just trying to get the support in place first before I really plan out the internal walls and how I'm going to do it and what I'm going to do. I just want it up and done. Bang. Okay, so floor has been filled in and already it's like we've got a ton of space up here, which is absolutely brilliant. So now, Primation, I've got to work on a roof and this is going to be the super duper. It's 330 already, my lord. How am I going to do a roof? That is that is the best question. Let's, let's check out what the garage looks like. Does the garage roof even look kind of okay? Let's have a check. Uh, I feel like we do definitely need a lip lip on the top. When I say lip, what I mean by a lip is like this thing here, actually. I can just copy this to see if this works. It's this kind of thing. So let's copy and copy this. No, wrong one. Let's copy this. Is this right? Is this correct? Yeah. So something like that. Will this go up there? Let's have a little check. I'm trying to get just some little details done whilst we go along our way. Uh, that's an uh, that's advanced rotating already. So is that going to be okay? Let's have a little look. I don't want it to be too angular, like too kind of, too triangular. I want it to be a little bit, we can't even really see, can we? Yeah, that's not too bad. That's kind of what I'm going for. I don't want it like really straight and jaggedy and sharp. That's it, sharp's the word. I don't want it too sharp. I don't mind that. I really don't. I kind of want the this one to go up a bit more before it goes across and down. That's like, I want it like kind of two or three like that. So that's not bad. Let's see if we can throw this on whilst we're here. So one thing we definitely need is a sensor because that's going to help us open the garage. Uh, we have the doors already. And what I did make earlier in here was some sand. Because I actually need the sand inside here. So we are going to burn that in. And what we actually need to get is some bulletproof glass and test out what it looks like. So let's just throw this bad boy on. Type in bulletproof. Have a little look. 
It needs uh, 110 for one. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, so that's only like 10 blocks right there. Interesting. Lead is 40. So it's, it's a ton of resources. Is it even worth it? I don't really know. Not too sure. Do you know what we'll do for now, Primation? Uh, glass block. We'll stick standard glass in whilst we grind away in the background and get that bulletproof glass, glass crafted. And I'll also see if we can actually um, change up the glass and put like little bits outside to make it look like this right here. I'll see if we can do that as well. So let's get all this out and get rid of all this glass. Nice. Now let's quickly change this into this. And can we copy and also copy rotation? And here's a part which is a bit weird. You have to make sure you place them at the exact same angle. Otherwise, you can see lines inside the glass. It's super strange. Say I place one here, one here, one here. Then I face this direction and place one on there. You'll actually see like a little lip inside the glass. It's super strange. So if you're placing on the right block, just keep placing on the right, for example. Or if you're placing on the top, keep placing on the top. But if you place on different angles, you'll see that it actually breaks the glass pattern up, which is really, really weird. Bang. So all the downstairs windows now have standard glass. You can't see it. It kind of shimmers in the light. You can't really see it. I think we'll change the downstairs to bulletproof glass and keep the upstairs as standard glass because front door is going to be steel <laughs> and whoops, wo uh, the, the walls are going to be concrete. So it kind of makes oh, it walls be brick even. <gasps> oh no, I didn't do it even. Oh, I'm such a noob. Do you know what? Should we just put two at the front and make another one for the back in that case? I don't do it at the back as well. I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. Um, damn it, Brian, mate. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. I didn't realize I'd done that. I could do some sort of double. Is there a double doors? No, you've got single doors or three wide doors. You don't have two wide doors, which is pretty bloody annoying. Either way, one there, one there. We'll get bulletproof glass placed around the side. So we need a further two for the back door. I could make this a single, couldn't I? It wouldn't look as good, but... I suppose there's two there. Oh, we can. <gasps> Let's so do that. Just to make our life a little bit easier. Let's uh, copy the on. Bang, 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 bang. And break these bad boys out. Nice. So now we can have a single uh, bulletproof door. Not bulletproof. Steel door right there. I may actually turn this into a half block. Just so it fits the door a bit nicer. Can we do this? Otherwise, it will look super duper bloody ugly. Bang, bang. Now, the still, uh, the still door be on this, touching this. it look a little bit nicer. That's not bad. We can make it all look nice and put things in the center another time. But we're getting there. It's getting there. So, we need tons of bulletproof glass. And I feel like, apart from the roof, we can then work on the interior, which isn't bad. The roof's done. Let's, let's go outside and stick this sensor on. Really not feeling those doors with that glitchy texture. I may change those for just, like, double-ish doors. Like, single door, single door, not still. I don't know. We'll see. We'll come around here, swing round, and obviously we'll open for us. So I feel like, like here might be a good one, or even over here, just tucked inside a bit more. Yeah, I, f I feel like there, because I can turn that to walls here, can't I? So as I'm driving in on the big four by four, we can drive in. It will catch us around here, open up, and then we can just drive straight in. It will close behind us. Not bad at all. Just very randomly, here is the light of the bike. It's light-ish. Now, I did get this mod, which I forgot to put in at the beginning of the episode, actually. <laughs> so, let's go into here and throw this mod on. Now, apparently, it's much brighter. Oh, yeah, it's definitely much brighter. That is really bright. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, random mod that I forgot to put in. So, I'm just trying to find the corner piece. Yes, right there to stick on here. Just to finish the roof off in this department. Throw that there and the corners are fine. So, now I've got to find something... To throw on the edge. So it should be another little lip just like this. What's this even called? It's called a ramp inclined filler. Okay, so throw this one in. Can we back a bit? Here. And we can copy this and throw this one in here. Bosh. This one in here. And that one in there. Now, do we have a little filler piece for the corner? Let's type in corner. Or it might be a tip even. A uh, corner. I'm not seeing anything too small. Let's keep looking. No, I'm not seeing one for this corner. I'm checking all the little bits and pieces, and I'm really... Oh, yes, Wedge 60. Are you the one? Uh, no, you're ugly as balls. That is not the one. But it might give it a bit of character. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little check. Bit weird, but it might give it just a tad character. I don't mind, actually. 
that's not too bad. Once painted, it might look a bit weird. We can take it off, but for now, it gives it a little bit of character, a bit of a bit of a design on the edge. It's the best thing we could do, to be honest, but it would do for now. Right, I feel like we need to get painting because it's looking a bit bare bones. Where's my paintbrush? Right, we've got this. Let's actually copy this early paint. Uh, copy, and let's actually let's go back upstairs to do it. Right, so copy texture and paint surface. Right, we have a 1,000 paint. 914. <laughs> I love this thing. It's so good. So, uh, Eddie, can we get around here? We can. Paint you. Uh, yes, we did it. Good stuff. And inside is going to be just a brick as well. We'll do that. In Actually, we'll do this right now. Brick. Copy. Paint. Yes. Paint. Yeah. <laughs> it's so quick and easy. I bloody love it. Take these down. We can rebuild this in just a moment. Paint you. Paint you. Paint you. Oh, it's so good. Paint this bad boy. Yes. All this painted? No. Paint you. Look at the simplicity. Fun pimps, this is the best thing you've done to this game. <gasps> I feel like this is off. I feel like I've misplaced this one. I have. You are one too far over. Lucky I caught that. Lucky I caught that. That was placed one too far over. There's copy, rotation, shape even. And plonk it on here. Is that the one? Yes. Two, three. And get rid of this bit. Bosh. Okay, we're getting there. I'm a bit worried or, or stuck on what to do. I've got 27 blocks. Have we got enough blocks back at base? I don't think we do. No, we are out of blocks. God damn, we are out of blocks. That is a... Uh, that's really not good because that's all my blocks. <laughs> okay, I need to go and make some more in that case. Let me just get rid of some of this. Uh, do not we keep the rest. What's the time? Right, we can definitely get to a couple of traders. Can we take it all? Uh, I feel like we can. Yes. Right, desert trader. We went to the trader behind us just there before Horde. But we didn't go to the desert trader. No, they, again, they have restocked. And I believe we now got our better barter to max after the horde. We did five out of five good bloody stuff. So in that case, let's go see what the trader's got. It's a gloomy, miserable day. Sunny and rainy, just like in merry old London. So we just arrived at the desert trader. Time is ticking, so I'm trying to speed things up. We'll have to check the other two traders tomorrow. During the night time, I'm actually going to work through the night, so I'll keep you around for that as well. We're not keeping it. Yeah, words. We're not finishing the videos just yet. Right, inventory, you restock day 31. What have you got? All oh, weapons, machine gun, I don't mind that. We don't need the steel boots. Engines always, always come in handy. Military armor, we've got points into it, so it might not be the best thing to buy, but it's handy to know it's here. Uh, Battle extender mod's not bad. We can make crucibles, 4-4, four, four. an auto shotgun, but I mean, the normal shotgun's better, so we don't really need that. Turrets we're going to make, so nothing just yet. Oh, the cobbles. All of the cobbles, and they're so cheap. Give them to me. Uh, what? I want to space in my inventory, crapo. Has he got anything else worth buying? Now, yeah, let you show yourself out. Let's use the sugar butts. Now, to make some space. Oh, I've got so much crap on me. Oh, I don't know what to get rid of. Do we can make a new paintbrush just for the time being. We'll pick it up in just a mo. Come here, you. Uh, buy all of my stuffs. And I believe that's it. I could have taken that. I just completely bloody forgot. Pick the paintbrush back up. Right, so we're now up to t almost 23k. Now, back in here, what did you have again? That was it. This one here, the automatic books. We'll take that. I do feel like at some point we'll be getting one of these. 39k, is that all? Oh, it was 65. It's now 39. That's dirt cheap. So I do want to respec at some point and go into farming and get a big old farm built. So at some point that will come in handy. I feel like this may be a good buyer, but I'm not going to put points into light armor, so I'm not actually going to purchase that. Cobblestone, 97 quid for 500. Hell yeah. I mean, these are dirt cheap. They're, they're literally 800 quid, and they cost, like, so much steel, so it might be worth just buying the two. Uh, I think we'll save it for now, but we may come back before That's he restocks. Use that. Uh, cobblestone, out. recipes, make a load more. Yes, please. Quick check in here. Sugar pots, always. Rock busters, yes. Nerd tats, yes. The rest, don't need. Okay, well, Primation looks like it's back to base because I feel like we're going to finish the downstairs tunnel over to the Horde base. Here we are downstairs in none other than the tunnel, heading down to the hot box. But what we need to work on now is finishing this bad boy. So I've got to shave off one, two, three layers. Three or four. Uh, let's have a quick check, actually. Uh, one, two. I think it's just three layers. Oh, easy peasy. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be shutting this off. Enjoy the music primation. I'll see you guys in just a moment.
done and dusted. Now what we need to do, did I bring my nail gun? I did. I don't think I've got enough wood to repair and upgrade all of this, but I'm going to give it a goddamn try. Have I got cobblestone on me? I haven't. Can I have a cobblestone? No, good stuff. Right, so case upgrading all this, and then I've got to paint the whole thing up. What I'm looking to do once this thing is all built up is actually go above to the surface and go up to what's going to be the new factory. The factory will contain all of our heat stuff, like all of our forges. I don't mean like two or three forges. I mean a lot of forges. I mean probably more forges than you've probably seen on any game or server ever. So it's going to be a big, big, big monstrous heat build. And it's going to need a lot of protection. Little hint, hint right there. So it's going to be good and fun. Also, next episode, what I'm looking to do is we need components. We haven't got any electrical. We've got some mechanical. But we need oil. We need components. I need to get thinking of upgrades for the next horde but we've done quite a lot of fighting in the last couple episodes so i thought i'd give you a nice building episode today so like a bit more calm a bit more tame a bit more relaxed and a bit more progress on the builds but next episode we are going to head out now one of you guys in the comments did suggest a couple things and i think we might just do that someone did suggest that to build or not build but if you want good loot or harder hordes you have to go to the wasteland so i feel like at some point what we might need to start considering is going to build a horde base in the actual wasteland. Um, I feel like it's a great idea, a good idea. Let me know what you think in the comments below, because if we do do that, we're going to get some good loot. Like, we're going to get some higher game stage, hard hordes, and some great, great loot. And if all goes wrong, then, hey, all goes wrong. But I feel like it's a great idea. Pramation, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, smash like. First time here, consider subscribing. And if you're new, let me know what you thought of the video. In the meantime, keep crafting for survival, Pramation. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Pramation, we're out of wood. We've got about 50% of the tunnel done, which isn't too bad. I need to go and make a tree farm next episode as well. So that's something we're definitely going to do. But yeah, it's getting there, Primation. It's getting there. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.